Sekiro Gaming Chat. Last time we killed that freaking monk. This time we're gonna go. Now listen. No, no, no. Listen. I'm following a guide because I looked up where am I supposed to go to this, and they're like, "Hold on, before you do the Mibu Mibu Village, you gotta get these items so you can get a decent ending." And I was like, "What?" So yes. Apparently, if I choose to side with my father, the owl, that freaking hoot of hilarity, I actually kill the lady that's been giving me the the, uh, the healing gourd seeds and some other guy. I don't remember. But now that I have said no to him, don't do it. I'm going this direction with my life, which is not the same as the owl because I'm a dog. Then... I have to get items that are not from the owl. I don't know if that's right, but really what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find these items. And you're selling me, you can tell me, maybe that's not as much fun as fighting a boss and dying 15 times in a row. Maybe not. I can't argue with you because you can't speak to me right now. But I can tell you, I wanna do this one so we get more bosses in this run than if we didn't. Which ultimately gives you what you're looking for, which is continuous and repetitive failures of my playstyle. Which is really button mashing on cocaine. Speed, PCP, and probably meth. Right? I mean, I ain't good. And I somehow keep squeaking by. You should play this game, because you can't be worse than me. So listen, let's find these items. So, uh, let's see. So it says, finding the persimmon and collecting the frozen tears. The tears are the coldest, because they're frozen. And it's not just 31 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not just negative 0.5 Celsius. It's not just 271.5 Kelvin. You thought I wouldn't go there. Kelvin always goes there. It is cold. Because the tears are not, the not from the temperature. They're from that dragon kid that, whose blood I took. It happens. All right, all right. So we're going to the Sanctum Shrine where I met the Divine Child. This in a, in a Sanctum, the Sanctum. Yes, in a Sanctum Shrine. Sometimes you gotta go in to get out. Sometimes you gotta go deep in to get it out. If you know what I'm talking about. Dive into the pool and you will find a prayer bead. We're gonna go into the water and find a prayer bead. This is all shallow water. We're gonna go into the water. Where am I supposed to go? Where's the water get deep enough to dive? Oh, wait, is that an item? Nope. That was literally nothing. Still literally, oh, it's a waterfall. I didn't even know this existed. Dive. None of this is any deeper than my freaking ankles. What is, I don't even understand what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, we're going down this thing because I don't remember doing it. All right, let's go. Let's go up the stairs and over the hair. Ooh. Oh, tentacles! It doesn't take damage. I'm out. Just bye. Oh, I have to gift her the holy chapter infested, which I can get from the master of the Simpu Temple. I have to give her something. That makes more sense. Request rice. 
I can only... Okay, so, maybe not travel. I have to get the Holy Chapter infested item. Which I get from the Master of the Simpu Temple, or the bottom of the pond, in the Temple Ground Shrine, in Mount Congo. We're going to... Wait. That was not an idol for travel. That was a holy beam to frickin' nowhere. To frickin' nowhere. Homeward idol. Back to the temple. I'm lost. Doesn't stop us from what we're doing. And that's getting the frozen tears. The frozen tears of the utmost importance. So we're going to the temple grounds. Ah! Ah! Wait. The inner sanctum. That's where we went, right? Bottom of the pond. We're going to the pond. We're going to get wet. It's time to do a cannonball. Okay. Oh, I remember this place. It has the wolves. It has some fish in this pond. I'm going to go in like a champ. Are those... Wait, that's a carp. Give me that scale, bro. Yes. I see you. I see you, and you're dead. And got that carp scale from your head. All right. Let's see what we got down here. Ooh, items. We have found the item. Is it green item? Is it in a battleship? A prow bead. Ideal. But not really what we're looking for, which was we're looking for the holy chapter that's infested. Maybe I already gave it to her. Oh, yeah. You give her the book and she gives you rice. Listen, listen. I already got the rice. I already got it. It's already there. I'm a rice farmer. Eat the rice and then go back to the shrine and teleport to any other one at random. I need to get more rice. Whatever. Look, let's get our prayer a necklace. Give me that necklace. Ooh, it's a pearl. It's a pearl necklace. And I got it. Listen, let's eat this rice. It's dinner time. Time for dinner. That rice. Give me that rice. Um, nom nom. Oh yeah. Let's go get some more rice. And apparently we do this until they're like, I got no more rice, bro. Get real. How much rice do I have to eat till there's no more rice? Can I get some rice? Thank you. Rice! Oh, I will get all that rice from you, child. Yes. Eat that rice. I'm an I'm an I'm an nuns. Going again. We're no. Wait. I wasted time. I rested. We want to go to the Kuru room. You say why? I don't have a good answer. So give me the rice. Eat the rice. And ask for more rice. Repeat this a few times. She'll be tired and slumped over in her seat. I have to exhaust this immortal child on the consumption of her rice. How do people even do this? How does someone be like, I want all the rice. Give me some more rice. Give me some rice. Thank you for the rice. 
Got more rice. Chew before swallowing? What are you talking about? We all know at this point it's rice pudding. Look at that. Goes down so smooth. You'd think it was that one girl in high school. You know what I'm talking about, cheerleaders. All right, so we got the rice. We're on like round two or three of this rice. Going back, give me that rice. I want, I want to augment my carb load for the marathon of sword fight. Oh wait, she is definitely getting more. And oh, oh, you're so tired. You're so tired. It's not like you've been fighting freaking monkeys. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's it. All right, I gotta get a persimmon. So, so I asked for a persimmon fruit. That's what she did. I can buy it from the Memorial Mom Merchant next to the shrine in Simbu Temple. So let's go to the shrine. Wait, what? Am I not there? Simbu Tower. Oh, this guy. I don't know how much money I have. We may have to kill a few guys to get the money for the Percipi Bibibian fruit. We gotta buy an apple. Where is this guy? I thought there was a guy here. We can buy it. The memorial mob next to the Shinger Shrine. Where is this guy? Right? Did I just miss an entire... Uh, he's not in that one. Wait, is it down here? I'm so lost again. Operate mechanism? Let's operate the mechanism. When in doubt, run the machine. When in doubt, become the machine. I am so lost. It probably has to do what? We got a ghost. Let's dance, ghost. Yes, you got me Kuru countered. I got granite counters, bro. Oh, he stabbed me. Oh, he stabbed me again. I need to get my healing gourd. I'm gonna get a heal. Yep, you got dodged. Yeah. I'm over here, sucker. Let's break him down. He stabbed me. He killed me. But shadows die, I don't know, like two or three times at this point, really. It takes more than one kill to stop me. Let's be honest. And I don't remember where this shop is. Oh. Get killed. Get killed. He ain't here. I killed those guys because I was frustrated that the shop was not here. Their lives were forfeit for no good reason. Operating the mechanism. Take the fruit. I need to go buy the fruit. No, it is the Shugendindu shrine. It's not the Simpao temple shrine. How did anyone do this? How, how are they like, here is the path I want to take in the game. I'm going to eat all the rice. I'm going to go search for this one item that no one has. Right? It's ridiculous. And honestly, this whole thing just revolves around the amount of of rice you can have at any given time. I do remember there being a vendor here. I don't remember where he was. So there's that. Yeah. I, I thought this was like where there were some gun guys across the sides. Man, I don't remember. You know what I mean? 
I don't remember. I came through here like a blaze of swords and blood and it was awesome and everyone enjoyed it. Get killed, bro. Look at this guy. He coming for me. I'm going to destroy his face. Where is that vendor? Got some sugar. I really don't remember where this vendor is. Like, if I remember it, it'd be faster. I don't. I, I kind of feel bad I don't recall, but then I definitely also don't. Look at all these little rat guys, man. They're getting killed. But they don't give me any blue points. They don't give me a lot of money. Maybe he's over here. He's not. Wait, is he down there? Have I ever even been down here? Did we just miss this entire section? There's a chance we missed the... Oh my gosh, it's a shrine! Did I even get this shrine? I did. Was oh, this where we started? I am so confused. Wait, wait. What is happening? This is where we started. I am what you would call extremely lost. But I killed that guy. Shields don't matter to me. What? Memorial Mom Merchant next to the Shugodin Shrine in Simpal Temple. I don't remember a merchant. He'll give me some sticky rice balls. I am I am at what shrine? Is this not this is Shugindu? This is the right shrine. Where is this guy? Let's let's refer to him as Clifford, the shrine hugger. Clifford, where are you, bro? Oh, relax. Clifford, I want to I want to purchase items from your shop and you're not allowing me to do so easily. Oh, get oh you poison jerk. I'm out. Oh, he shot me. I'm out this way. Climb on. We're just going to keep going. Oh no. I'm still alive. You can't kill what's already dead. So there's a guy somewhere in here. Wait, is this this guy? Is he down here? Have I been down here? What's over here? Nothing. Nothing is over here. I don't even remember being here. I know this is kind of where how we get to uh, get to the armored guy that we killed. I don't remember a shop. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely don't remember a shop. Is there something down there? Maybe it's a shop. Nope. Down here? Maybe it's a shop. Nope. Wait. Jump on that little lat. Oh, I died. Deserved it. Healing Gordon. No. Healing Gordon. I'm going to give a little, little run and jump. I made it. He's got to be over here. Because when I think of, to myself, where is a great place to put a shop? The answer is, of course, in the middle of nowhere, through after a platforming section, that is where I want to build my shop. So only the most agile of customers will locate me. Because, of course, 
Why would you want anyone else? Market segments? Market capitalization? Who cares? Right? Who cares? Oh, what's this? A white pinwheel. I mean, definitely not been here. But also, seriously, what's down here? Is that, no, that's not a little, I thought that was a little hidden secret passage. Oh, we got a gecko. We got a dead gecko. Die gecko. All right. Nothing. I am. I feel like I'm climbing back up. What? Wait. Wait. Open this up. And now it's over from this side. Do we know where we're going? We don't know where we're going. Creepy crawlers. Shot collar. Oh, you got killed, bro. You can't play my game. Item. Black gunpowder. Oh, we gotta upgrade our prosthetics. Don't matter. Monkey moose. Dude, we missed monkey moose. Nope, we're not supposed to find it. But I'm in for monkey booze. And a heavy coin purse. And I feel like we're at that one spot that we fought that creepy collar guy. But it also doesn't look like that one spot where you fought that creepy crawler guy. It looks like a different spot. Is this a shrine? And a bell? Have I even found this one? I have not. We found a new shrine. The Bell Demon's Temple. We are way out of where we were expecting to be. Read the bell. Read it. Do not ring the bell. Close. Ring that bell. How do I ring the bell? Do I jump and hit it? I do not. Do I ring the bell? Yes, I do. Ding dong, mother frackers. Oh, sinister burden. This may have been a mistake. Bell demon. A demonic spirit sealed within the iron bell of the Simpu Temple possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening the enemies around them. The bell demon confers hardship, but perhaps also slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. So, I can get rid of it by, oh, I got a sweet rice ball. What? Oh no, I got a sweet rice ball. I need a sticky rice ball. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. No, no. I ain't eating that rice ball. Get rid of the demon bell. Okay. Burden has been dispelled. Look. I don't know what this memorial mob is. They say there's a shop. Can I buy a fruit from you? I cannot. Unfortunate. Listen, I'm going to look up where this mob is. Give me like zero amount of time. Because the nice thing about this is you don't got to worry about it. The magic of editing. 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 We're back. And listen, I looked it up. It's ridiculous. So the apparently these memorial mobs bebop around and decide the best method 
to sell their wares is to find locations that are off the beaten path and that normal customers may not come through, which means the normal path through the Senpao Temple, which includes rickety wooden planks haphazardly attached to the side of a mountain, is too well known for these sons of bees. So we come here and we turn around. And we, uh, I mean, looking around for this guy, there's apparently another place. We come this way and we're like, look at down here. There's a little haphazard. Oh, wait, I think I tried this even. Hmm. Make your way to the idol, but instead of going the normal path, walk towards the edge. And there it is. We've located it. Okay, he's along this half has, yep, not been, oh, get up, get up, get the item. Stop being a little girl. There he is. This is where this guy has decided is to set up the shop that will be the most profitable endeavor for him. Oh my God, just sell me the frickin' fruit. Thank you. Do I have anything else? Five colored, a gourd with five colored rice. What is it? I don't really know what this does, but it's expensive and looks good. Everything else looks kind of eh. Everything else looks kind of eh. But we got the Persimmon fruit, which is what we were looking for. So we can go back to, we can go back to that person. Bye. Give me that temple. We can go back to the inner child, give her her fruit, and continue on. And we are like three paragraphs into this guy. Three. So may take a minute may take a minute hello immortal child you who have aged but has not matured here's your fruit it tossed me 30 gold. Are you gonna reimburse? It's a bountiful harvest. It's rice. Rice for Kuru. Let's go give it to the rice for Kuru. The dragon era. Almost like they're in cahoots with Kuru. I have no idea what I'm doing. Feels like a complete waste of my sword paneling time. Look, it's rice. Yeah, how do you like that rice? What is he even talking about? How do you even, I mean, is, have I been eating uncooked rice? Dude, wolf. Oh my God. I'm going back to the guide. I have to wait and see. Whatever. Listen, I'm going to rest. I'm going to take a nap. You make these fantastic items out of the rice. 
I say all this. I'm a little frustrated about the focus on rice. I got a sweet rice ball. It looks like brains. It's gross. Slowly gain, grants medium vitality recovery and constant posture. I want to eat your, oh my God, he's giving me a lot of sweet, sticky rice balls. It doesn't, I mean, it definitely sounds sexual. I don't intend it to be sexual, but I can't argue the amount of sexual. To a what? Do you want me to eat it in front of you? All right, I'm going to go give it to the inner inner child. These two should be introduced. I feel like I'm a courier for rice. I feel like I should be driving a truck of rice. I feel like I should be driving a boat of rice so these two can enjoy their rice romance. Take this rice off my hands. He made rice balls. Do you want his rice balls? He's enthusiastically giving you his rice balls. His name's Kuru. Yes, come on. You two are doing the rice romance. I don't want to be in the middle of it. What are you even talking about? Listen. Listen. It tells me. To oh my God. I am so confused again. I go talk to the inner child, the sanctum and tell the divine at the inner sanctum, the child is missing from her seat. But she definitely was not. Oh, wait, she's gone. We rested and now she is no longer there. She's probably getting some sticky rice balls from Lord Kuru. We're going to go to the Hall of Illusion. Seriously, guys. Seriously. And she's over here. That's her over there. Oh my god. I killed the monkeys over here so the beetles could do well. Crazy. What? I'll think about it. She wants me not to sever the ties of immortality from the world, but rather talk to an old guy in a cave. Because the dragon's from the west.
I mean... I mean... I will cut you in half, you jerk. He told me just to leave. I am leaving. But he was a jerk about it. Look. He should have been like, nice to see you. If you want to hang out, that's cool. Go left up the stairs to the main hall. Ignore the door on your left that leads to straw hat enemies. And walk forward to the exit on your right. What am I doing? I go inside the cave. Leave me be. I'm going to go this way. Where am I supposed to go? Nope. Don't know. I am inside the place. I don't think I was supposed to go inside. I always end up inside, though. Okay. Probably shouldn't have gone inside. Lessons learned. Sometimes I end up inside. I don't even know how I got inside. But it's usually enjoyable. How do I get back outside now that I am inside? All right. Ooh, it's a pool. Maybe I go swimming. All right, so look. In front of you, there's a cave. So walk forward near the big tree. Return to the inner sanctum. Then go left up the stairs to the main hall. Ignore the door on your left that leads the straw and walk towards, walk forward before taking the exit to your right. I don't know what that means. Ignore the door that leads to straw hat enemies. So maybe they would want me to go through here? Is this an item? Cha-ching! Black gunpowder, bitches! Okay. I am lost. Ah, oh, the straw hat enemies. But instead, go to your right. And look for the cave entrance. Is this it? Is this the cave? It definitely looks dark and murky. And going down, I think we found it. Oh, it's a monk. Get cut up. Get stabbed. Okay, we found it. In front of you, there's an entrance to a cave. Go inside, defeating the long armsman as you go. At the end of the cave, you'll find the infested remains of Simpao Temple Monk. His body is a chapter you need. Uh oh. More fights. Oh. Get cut. Get cut. Get cut. Get cut. I know what you're all saying. Dang, that's a lot of death. You right. I'm good. Now nah, I don't know where I'm supposed to be, but we're going to roll around this cave until we find where we're supposed to be. That's it? That's not it. I don't even know which way I came in. Is it up here? I just usually follow the trail of carcasses. Because that's where I've entered. And that's what I've done. Oh, I feel like I've been here. I didn't say take the secret passage. It said follow the death What's up, chumps? You ever fought a shinobi before? Too bad. You about to get killed. I need to find the carcass of the Simpao Temple Finder. Get cut! Get cut! Sneaky mode. Wait, is this the way back up? I am lost. 
Dead people. Lots of dead people. If you're asking, are you lost? The answer is, of course, yeah. Death lost. And this guide is not overly useful in saying, hey, go here or go there or check this out. But it's definitely like, but if you don't do this, you don't get, you don't get the most boss fights. And you've gypped yourself out of the most fun for the game. Which is kind of crappy. Oh, get cut! You ever been sliced? You're about to be. I'm burning! Holy crap, I'm taking a ton of damage. I've died. But I'm not dead dead. I'm just red dead. Get cut. Oh, this must be it. Pick up item. Holy chapter! Dragon's Return! Return to the Hall of Illusion and give the child what you need. I have to go to the Hall of Illusion. If I had known it was going to be this difficult, I don't know how I would have done it. I don't even know where the Hall of Illusion is. I feel like they're being... Like, go here. It's another word for the same place you've been. Go to the Hall of Illusion and give it to the child. The only child I'm aware of is at the inner sink. Oh, no, the Hall of Illusion is where the monkeys are. I bet she's still chilling there. Is she not here? No, she back. Look. I met his carcass. Just really enjoys persimmon fruits. I ain't even heard of them before I played this game. I kind of wish I could go back to not knowing about them. Listen, we got to go get the persimmon serpent fruit. I don't want to hear it. Keep it to yourself. Listen. The fresh fruit is the most complicated to obtain. And I would recommend watching the video and then there's no link. To start, travel with the Simpao Temple Mount Congo Shrine. You'll see a big giant dude sat against a tree. Down to the left of him you'll see one of the short straw hout guys with the front of a kite. I have to kill a big snake after a ridiculous amount of complicated moves. Listen to this. So find this guy and, and then use the puppeteer ninjutsu, which I need to equip. Puppeteer ninjutsu. Once I kill him and use the puppeteer ninjutsu, he'll go over to the kite and crank it to a new position. Now, grapple up to the tree branch. 
and sprint towards the temple at the top of the stairs, ignoring the monks. Who cares about the monks? And then head right, then left at the bottom of the stairs. Run out of the temple and then head forward and to the right, grappling up into the tree on your right. At the top of the tree, I'll be able to grap grapple over to the kite that I raised earlier. And it opens up a new area. And in this new area, the rest of the shrine, so I get a save point. And then I go into the cave. And in the cave, I kill a snake. Seriously, what the fuck? Seriously. I can't even explain uh, how, why. Okay, let's go do it. It's a Thursday, y'all. We're here at Mount Congo Shrine outside the temple. Run out of the temple! And look over the ledge in front of me. I'm going to see a big giant dude. I'm going to see a big giant dude. I don't see a dude. I am, of course... Immediately lost. Immediately lost. Immediately lost. Do I go this way? Is this the way I go? No, I don't go this way. Run out of the shrine! You'll see a big giant guy in front of you with a bell. Do we see said fellow? I see a dead monk suck it. Now I kind of feel like I should be on the watch out for this freaking bell guy. What we're going to do is we're going to kill this monk. You ain't flying a kite. I'm searching the skies for a kite. I don't see one. I see an item down there. We're going to get that item. Couple of items. Still looking. Whoa, we got we got rats. Guess what now? We got dead okay. Wait. This is probably the kite. That's a solid. Okay, this is, I feel like, definitely the area. I uh, don't know where this bell guy is, but I'm going to save and restart this section so that, that those guys that we killed will come back to life. And we can use that to redirect this kite. We found the kite. This is the bell guy. Why are you crying? I have the flower for you. I'll give you the flower.
I'll take you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to kill him? I'm not supposed to kill him. Come on. Let's go this way. Oh, there's an item! Scrap iron, just what we all wanted. Is this a door? What has occurred? I feel like I missed a section. All right, they want, you know what? Let's do this. Okay. I'm gonna help this guy out by resetting everything. Maybe there's a way to open this from the inside. This is the door. I can't open it. I tried to help you. I can't do it for you. Where's this kite of wonders? Isn't it down here? I was just there. I know I, I can kill this guy. Get killed. Don't care about him. But there's definitely a kite somewhere. And I want a stealth kill. That's him. There's the kite. We have our target. We're going to Puppeteer Ninjutsu Jinchu, this guy. Puppeteer Ninjutsu! Change that kite, bro! Go do it! It's working. You stay there. Now, turn around and grapple up the tree branch behind you. Sprint up towards the temple. The top of the stairs, ignore the monks along the way. Jump onto the building, head right, head left. Run out of the temple. Head forward and then to the right and grapple up onto the tree. At the top of the tree, we're able to grapple over to the kite that you raised earlier. What the frick, man? Why is it so complicated? It's the best ending. Okay, jump down and sprint towards the path on the temple. Ignore the monks. Hello, monks. Goodbye, monks. Hello, monks. Goodbye, monks. Grapple. I don't know, right and left. Oh god, I'm lost. It was an item. Okay. So, grapple up on the tree. At the top of the tree, we're going to grab over the kite. Let's see if we can get to the kite. I don't even see the kite. Do I, am I missing the kite? Yes, but there's also an item down here. Back off, guys. I have missed a lot of items. Holy cow, what is that thing? They are bird people. I jumped off the edge, but I thought I saw the kite. Dodge. Dodge. Where is this freaking kite? Should have jumped. Okay, I mean, maybe we're safe.
Oh, that sucks. Get a healing gourd. Uh. Hmm. Lost. Pretty much where I am. Let's see. So I basically need to find this freaking kite. I basically need to find this freaking kite. Oh, I gotta go. I mean, I don't see it. Right? I don't even see the wire it's attached to. This is like the, definitely the first house. Alright, do y'all see the wire? I don't see it. I'm moving. I don't even see this kite anymore. Where am I supposed to even be going? In this him over here? Okay, the kite's still there. There is the rooftop. So we gotta go in and then back out. Okay, I have a better feeling for where this is. Let's get to it. So goodbye to these guys. I ain't sticking around. We're kind of over that way. We have to go up and then in. Sometimes you gotta watch out. You gotta open in. Woo! He tried to stab me. Oh, that's a bird. I don't even know where they came from. But now that we're in, we have to go back out. Ultimately. However we get there, we have to go back out. But not that way. Uh, let's see. There is a way in there. I'm pretty sure... Goodbye. Kill the kill the battle crickets. Just keep crawling. Just keep crawling. I know you're saying you don't gotta kill all the battle crickets. You always have to kill all the battle crickets. Is there any more battle crickets? There's no more battle crickets. So we ran the temple. Left at the bottom of the stairs. Man, I am so lost. You know what I mean? This poor guy. Are you wanting a piece? I don't know why you wanted a piece. I just killed your friends. Head left at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Nope. It, it certainly is probably not here. I mean, we get some items. 
Oh, watch out. Look at all these guys. But ultimately, I don't even think that's the direction I need to go. I'm more inclined to assume that the kite is over this way. Maybe not. We got a lump of fat wax. They may have said to ignore the monks, but we killed the monks. So, we're here. The kite would be out there somewhere. Because I think that's him down there. Right there. You see him? And he is flying this kite up higher. Okay. This is slightly ridiculous. Head right. Jump onto the building, head right. And then left at the stairs. Maybe they don't... Oh, uh, you killed. Head left at the stairs and then right. I'll give you some rice. Which fresh fruit you want, fly a kite. There is the freaking kite. We are in the right spot. Okay. All right, listen, there it is. The kite over troubled waters. Bingo. Snap seed, because that was a snap. It was not a snap, it was ridiculous. How am I even supposed to continue? Where am I supposed to go now? Down there? In this new area, grapple to the right until you reach a cave. But seriously, where am I supposed to grapple? I landed here. Oh, I see. It's like a legit jump and just hope. Oh my god, like solid. Okay. All right. Until you hit a cave. Drop down to the side of the Sunk Valley. I mean, oh my God. You just keep going is ultimately where I'm at. We found another save point. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Over here is the snake. It's an item. Okay. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Okay. 
the snake. Death blow! Death blow again! Oh man! It's raining blood! Fresh serpent viscera. This simian like heart of a great serpent. So we did it. Oh, frick. I died. Oh, I'm in the water. I have no idea where I am, but I do know. I'll kill that fish. Kill that fish, too. Is that a treasure cop? I'm after you, treasure cop. I'm on to your... Oh, you got killed. That's what we needed from here. So we got the fresh fruit. I have a raging headache. But that was a hard one. N oh my god, the dried fruit is like two screens long. So listen, the dried fruit isn't super easy to get either. But start, but to start, head to do Balsivita Valley Shrine just before you fought the great ape. Jiminy frickin' cricket. Jiminy Cricket. All right. Next to the shrine, you'll find an old snake lady who points you in the right direction. Rather than jumping down into the ape's clearing, jump down in the sunken valley with the poison river. Old snake lady? Oh my God, there she is. I don't have any rice for you, lady. But I'm gonna hop in here! I died. Did I die? All right, let's try this again. It looks like it's poison on the bottom. So we're gonna jump, and we're gonna grapple, and then a grapple, and then, okay, and then grapple. All right, we're looking for, I see an item, but it doesn't matter. We're looking for, maybe that's the item I need. Nope, I got a death blow puppeteer again. I see it in the stuff. So grapple to the tree branches towards the ground. Follow the river upstream to the area opens up. You can bear right. Here you'll find another guy selling stuff. Watch the poison. Watch the poison. Let me get out of this poison. Why don't we get out of the poison? Seems like a solid idea. I know, novel. Yep, novel. This is a poison water river. Is that like a bad guy? And I should, I just jumped right past him? What is, he's got two swords and a monkey. Sorry, bro. Was I supposed to puppeteer him? No. Maybe. Alright, what's this? Is that a shrine? Yeah, the poison. It's the mob. It's the memorial mob. Listen. What you got, bro? Green Mossy Gourd. That could be good. That's probably for poison. That's all he's really got. But it talks about, it talks about the vendor in this description. So it says sprint past a lot of stuff in the cave. 
So this is the cave we need to sprint past stuff in. And this is the cave. I know what you're saying. Why aren't we sprinting? The answer is I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. So eventually I'll run underneath the snake and the wall will curve around to the left. Keep following it and I'll crouch under a rock. Look guys, I got no idea what I'm doing. We're just going to keep going. Oh, that seems like it's just death. I'm not going to go that way. This is like a better way. Oh, you. Oh. So that was a ghost. There were some uh, geckos there. We killed them. Lots of dead stuff around here. The snake. It's alive and well. I will sever the ties of immortality for that ghost. Oh, 412 points is solid. So, I'm, I am sneaking past the snake and collecting the items. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. I didn't mean to do that. I am sneaking past this snake. Oh, watch out. Oh. So, hold on. Eventually, you'll run underneath the snake, and the wall will curve around to the left. I may be going the wrong, watch out, the wrong direction. Because I definitely feel like I went to the right and not uh, die. The, the left. So here's the snake. Here's the left direction. Okay. 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 Is this the way I came? Could it be the way I came? There's dead things. Alright, so eventually I'll come to the snake. Which is here. And oh, whoa. Alright. Whew! Is this it? No, that's not it. Dude, he got countered! That ghost couldn't... couldn't compete. Eventually you come to a ledge that you need to jump up onto. At the top, there are some spirit emblems. And, and there's a monkey. There's a monkey somewhere along this. We're going to find this monkey and puppeteer it. There's the actual freaking snake. We're staying to the left. Am I staying to the left? Watch out! Frickin' dead? I'm back, bitches. Heal.
Also lost. That snake bit me. I kind of thought this was an item. It's nothing? That's weird. Uh, it's this, this jerk thing. Get stabbed. Where is this monkey thing I am supposed to kill? Right? No, snake, I don't want none. Where is this monkey thing? I'm lost. Okay, so left at the snake, cruising along, cruising along, looking for uh, this monkey. I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. Okay. Can't get up there. I am so confused on the fruits. Ah, dodged. All right, so listen. We're back at the start. I know what you're saying. Yeah, and I agree. All right, so we hit this snake. We're rolling towards it, and now we roll to the left, holding that. And we head up. And uh, grapple. Yeah, look at this. And then we'll sneak. And we're kind of looking, kind of looking for this monkey. Still looking for this monkey. Alright, can't go that way. Okay, here's the, there's that snake. I still don't see this monkey that we are supposed to, to, to. I'm gonna stay behind this pillar and this snake. So, at some I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this pillar. But there's definitely spirit emblems over there. Maybe it's a jump of faith. Do y'all think it's a jump of faith? Now bear left. Keep in left hand the snake. Jump up on the ledge in front of you. Then right towards the cave wall. When you reach the edge, jump forward and keep running. Drop. Drop it when you drop it. You eventually come to the ledge that you need to jump up onto. Oh, okay, there was a ground down there. Okay, ultimately, looks like, and I hear this monkey, there he is. All right, monkey, okay, hold on. Before we do this, let's figure out what we are doing. So, we get to this monkey, we death blow the monkey, and we give it the puppeteer. And then while the snake is distracted, we look up and to our right and we can grapple to where the snake's head was. And then go to the temple. At the back of the temple, you'll find the dried fruit.
Puppeteer mode. There it is. The grapple. Distract that monkey, bro. It hit me. I'm going in. This it. Dried serpent viscera. So we got the dried fruit and we got the fresh fruit for this this uh creepy kid. Fine by me. Your way out is blocked. I kind of feel like there's an easier way. I'm going back to the temple. It has a whole paragraph. I'm going to do this and do this and do this and you're out. And I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm out. I'm going to pause it for a second. I have a bio situation. Significant bio. Be back. Okay, we're back, Quebec, back, listen, listen, so we got the fruits, it is ridiculous, and I'm back, so we're going to travel to the inner sanctum to give this little kid the serpent hearts they so desire. Kid, here are your snake hearts. Okay, you rest at the shrine because they don't want to eat them in front of me. For whatever reason, it's bloody, it's gross. One is dried, and maybe they want to make him into a... Oh my god. That ain't good. Are right, we going to rest the shrine again? Maybe they'll feel better. They're back. Is she blind? I got the frozen tears. Now we're ready to go back. Okay, wonderful. We got some frozen tears. You know, on a very real level, I can produce frozen tears myself. I think about my life, I cry, and I freeze them. Works. Different discussion. For this discussion, we are now prepared for the best ending for Sekiro. Which we will head back to the path. I can't make promises on when I finish. I think there's like four more bosses. Which you guys have seen takes like seven or eight episodes per boss. So, we'll get there. But we'll get there. And we'll get there with a nice, cool piece of item that will help us chill our drinks as we make it the way. This is it. Gaming chat out. Thank y'all. It's a longer session, but worth it. Uh, maybe. <laughs>